गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज माई वीडियो नंबर टू ऑन द टॉपिक प्रेजेंट इन डिफिनेट टेंस ओके इन दिस वीडियो यू विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट ऑल द डिफरेंट यूजेस ऑफ प्रेजेंट इन डिफिनेट टेंस ओके विच इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस ओके लेट्स कम टू द फर्स्ट यूज द फर्स्ट यूज इज देयर this tense is used when we talk about habitual action habit or custom okay when we talk about habitual action habit or custom okay let's have a look at all these examples the first one i watch tv on every sunday i watch tv on every sunday it means this is the habitual action of the speaker next example she gets up early in the morning here getting up early in the morning is the regular habit of the speaker okay next one he walks in the evening means walking in the evening is a regular habit or the habitual action of the speaker so in such sort of cases we make use of present indefinite tense or simple present tense okay let's proceed uh next use is there about general or universal truths general or universal truths so we make use of this particular tense okay in these cases also when we talk about general or universal truths how let's have some examples number 1 the sun rises in the east the sun rises in the east okay rising of the sun in the east is the example of an universal truth next one 2 and 2 make 4 again this is a general truth okay and after that honesty is the best policy again an universal truth so in case we talk about general or universal truth we make use of simple present tense okay let's move on to the next use the next is there about future event okay so we make use of this particular tense when we talk about any future plan or about any future activities which have already been planned out and that will take place in the near future okay how just have a look here at these examples the school reopens next week the school reopens next week it means reopening of the school is already planned okay and it will reopen in the next week next one the examination begins from next month the examination begins from next month okay means here beginning of the examination has already been planned out okay and it will take place in the next month okay so in such sort of cases also we make use of the simple present indefinite tense okay present simple or present indefinite tense next what is there number 4 okay this is about introducing quotations with sage okay in case we have to express any quotation or we talk about any quotation about uh, the lines uh, quoted by some speakers some great people we make use of simple present tense okay kids says a thing of beauty is a joy forever okay kids says a thing of beauty is a joy forever next one newton says every action has an equal and an opposite reaction every action has an equal and opposite and opposite and an opposite reaction in such sort of cases also we have to make use of this simple present tense okay next come to the next use what is there vivid narration instead of past tense this tense is also used in order to make the story or narrative vivid okay in order to make the story or narrative alive instead of past tense 
For example, Ravana fights bravely, but he is killed in the end. Okay, so you just take a look of the tense here. The sentence is written in simple past here. But this could also have been written Ravana fought bravely and but okay, but he was killed in the end. Okay, this is how also the sentence could have been written. Okay, so in that case we won't have that vividity of the narration. This way the vividity of the narration would go away. Next one, there is a just and placid king in the story. So this sentence again, sentence again could have been written once there was a king and he was very just and placid. But instead of past tense, this has been written in a simple present tense in order to make the story alive, in order to make the story alive and appear it as a original. Okay. Next one, what is there? Number sixth one, exclamatory sentences that begins with here or there. We make uh, use of this tense when we talk about the exclamatory sentences that begins with here or there. For example, here you go, there he goes. Okay, like this. Uh, we have to make use of this particular tense. Some more examples. Okay, there the king goes. Here the king comes, okay, there the queen goes, here the duke comes. This is how we have to make use of this simple present tense, okay. Next one and the last one is there, time or conditional clauses instead of simple future. We make use of this particular tense, simple present tense in case of time and conditional clauses also okay in the place of simple future tense where we make use of this particular tense okay we use this uh, particular tense in the part of the clause in the part of a time or conditional clause that begins with the conjunction if you can just have a look here okay this is where at this particular part of the sentence we make use of simple present tense okay if you do not earn money you will not buy the house that's how we have to use this tense here next one if you do not work hard you will fail this is the part of the sentence where we have to make use of simple present tense okay that's enough for my this video bye see you in my next video video with some another topic